Hello, and welcome to Wizards of Legend. Again, you may be wondering, why again? Well, I actually finished the game. Well, I'm going to finish the game. And uh, the reason why I am back is because I am missing one of the final arcanas. So, I've got all the arcanas for fire and air, earth, lightning and water. And I'm missing one chaos arcana. Seven out of eight, as you can tell. And you get these Chaos Arcanas by actually beating the game. You get one every time you finish the game. So as you can tell, I've beaten him exactly seven times out of maybe 20 tries. 20 tries. 20 tries. This time, I'm going to actually try to finish the game. So I decided why not uh, record the progress and kind of show you the Arcanas that you get from him. Uh, and the more wonderful stuff that comes along the way as you build towards endgame. If you are the type to want to experience your cards for yourself, of course, now is a great time to stop watching. Because I'm going to be using all arcanes. Uh, all the arcanes I can get my hands on. So, arcanes. You've got a basic attack arcane, you've got a dash arcane, you have a few to choose from uh, as far as your right click and your signature arcane goes. My favorite is still the hook and the uh, no parade. Uh, yeah, and the absolute finale. Absolute finale for the right click and always the laser beam distortion beam for the signature. So here are the basic arcanes. This is your basic attack. You attack and he shoots forward a bolt, kind of a black bolt immediately after. This is your dash. So instead of you actually dashing forward, so in the dash you are not always invulnerable. In, you can get hit in mid dash if you dash into a projectile. This however, makes sure that you're only vulnerable at the beginning of the animation and at the end. So like a proper iframe. Just right click. Does a lot of damage. If it hits a normal enemy, eh, the enemy dies instantly. The signature ability, however, is my favorite, and it does this. What's well, not to like? So, here's the charge subversion of that signature. Again, what's, what's not to like? So, I found out a very interesting and slightly overpowered build uh, in terms of the getting to the boss. Uh, killing him is uh, still up in the air, but uh, you know, you can definitely uh, get to him using this build. And it is, and I'm trying to find it, give me a second, yeah, Tearing Whirlwind. So, Tearing Whirlwind, it's not an arcane, yes, but what it does is as you spin, it draws things in to you. You can obviously as you can tell, combo that with your uh, signature ability for very nice amounts of damage. Okay, so on top of that, I am running the, I think, Valor? What's it called, Valor? Oh, increases critical chance, increases critical damage, no downsides. And I'm also running the base uh, defensive. Uh, trinket called the Vampire's Eyeglasses. I regenerate, I think, one health every time I hit, but it is possible to crit the regen so for like two health and four health. I, th I think I've seen it four health before. So every time you land a critical hit, which is amazing because as you can tell, I'm wearing the thing that increases crit. So I just keep healing. This is basically one of the more surefire ways of getting to the end. As you can see, I bought everything here. Uh, since I want to actually win this run, I'm gonna talk to this person over here. 200, go 200 gold coins for 20 of the Chaos Gems. Yes. So, I can pay up 20 of my Chaos Gems for 200 gold to start with. Uh, start with the Burning Furnaces. Yes, please. Because I do not want to deal with the Fire Girl at the end. So, I bought everything. The Chaos Gems is basically just sitting there right now. So, ah, okay, we get to fight the Ice Lady at the end. Yeah, she's difficult, but not as crazy as the Fire one. Now, let's see. I haven't played this game in about two weeks. 
so I may be missing a few things off the top of my head. I'll probably get hit a few times, we'll see. Of course, I get hit immediately. I was trying to avoid pulling the barrels. As you can imagine, using Tearing Whirlwind while near the barrels, the barrels will actually run, fly towards you, and that's not what I want. Oh, an upgrade. Yes, thank you. I don't want the rest yet. So I, yeah, okay, good. Let's fight the boss first, get a bunch of money, then we can look for the shops. Fleet Lancer, what the, oh, right. I forgot about the fire boots. I got interrupted because of the fire, guys. Laser beam. So this is a good example of the regen that I was talking about. So I took a bunch of crazy damage. I think I got down to 300 health and now I'm back at 410. So this is kind of spoilery but as well, uh, if you want to win, this, this is generally what I would recommend. But who knows, maybe there are way stronger builds out there. There is also a special armor, I think it's called... Uh, I think you get it after you beat the boss the first time. And uh, it's really powerful, in fact. It basically reduces your health to one. If you play Binding of Isaac, basically you're playing The Lost in a game which uh, moves really fast. So, not recommended. Lemo's Leaf, I don't remember what this does. This one makes you move faster. Don't really need this. Don't really need any of these. So I'm going to hold off on buying anything. Gonna move forward. Music's a little loud, but eh, that's fine. So I'm trying to explore. It seems that every floor you do get access to the one shop and one random encounter, being that it could be a cursed room or it could be a tailor, etc. etc. If it's a tailor, I am immediately putting my coins in. I'm immediately putting my coins in, mostly because the tailor increases the passive skill that you have on your armor, or your cloak rather. In my case, it's amazing because then I will have even higher crit chance. Uh, let's see if we get lucky and get the royal flush which is basically a lot of crit chance. So much crit chance, you will be crying. That was a mistake. I didn't mean to press the button. I'm a little rusty. I'm a little rusty. I don't normally get hit this much, but then, you know, you don't have a cause to believe me. Which is, again, for an unskilled player such as myself, I would like to normally run this kind of build. I need to kill the volume just a bit. Give me a second. Alright, there we go. So, what was I going to say? I lost what I was trying to say. Eh, it'll come back to me. Alright, let's focus on the game. Hopefully it is a curse room. Yes! Uh, double edge sisters. I never want to take this. This is good because it reduces the cooldowns, but it's bad because it slows you down like crazy and I don't want that. Double-edged sisters. I think I can take this. I remember it... Ah, there we go. Increased basic arcana damage. That's fine. Uh, right. Let's get out of this room. Alright, so, if any time I fall silent, I hope you forgive me, it's mostly because I have to focus. This game moves pretty damn fast. So if I fall silent, it's because I have to fight like crazy. That's part of the charm of the game. Alright, we're done. Good. 268 gold. Uh, usually, I, if I don't find anything good in shops, I'll just hold on to the money until we get to like the second tier, uh, second tier of enemy, which is the rock guy this time around, and then I'll start spending it at that point. Ah, I love 
that laser beam. That's amazing. Now, if only I'll stop taking crazy, t crazy, stupid damage. So I'm critting for 20 now, thanks to the double agent Cestus. Of course, everything else, the damage has dropped. Ooh, this is useless. This turns you invisible when you're standing still. Uh, you'd never want to stand still. I might take this though. Gives you more gold. Eh, I'll take it. That's fine. I'll take it. Could be worth it. So I need about two more arcane. This one gives you gold immediately, but you have to pay it back. The rest are not that great. Uh, the other two, they increase the prices uh, in the shops. I don't really want that right now. It's too early in the game to get that. Normally, if I see the the uh, ominous loan note at the end of the game, I'll probably pick it up. Extra gold is never bad at the end. You can always uh, buy health potions with it. But uh, considering we haven't even cleared the first boss, it's kind of pointless to do that. Arcanes are ridiculously powerful, as you can tell. You don't normally get this kind of power, raw power, uh, at the start. So this is kind of cheating, but at the same time, it's just for me to kind of wrap up this game. Uh, once I complete the eighth Arcana, I'm basically done with the game. There's actually no other reason to keep playing. Literally, there's, there's actually no other reason to keep playing. So, I just thought it'd be a nice uh, goodbye to the game just to record my final run. Oh, I'm saying it as if I'm definitely going to win. I have a high hope that I'll win, but, you know, we'll see. Yep, there we go. Uh, don't need to go that way. So again, this build is pretty good because, as you can see, I've taken a bunch of damage earlier, but I'm back to 320. If you can kind of temper yourself uh, along the way and just slow down a bit, uh, you know, and land the right hits at the right time, or have a lot of spells that hit multiple times, oh man, then you are in for a treat. I'm not sure if they patched it out. I'm still playing the, the regular version of the game, I think. I haven't actually... He's touch any updates. So hopefully they didn't patch it up because this thing is quite fun. Though I guess it does kind of, you know, cheapen the game a bit. Uh, okay, let's go. Might as well. Archer, my favorite one to fight. Boss fights, as you can see, mostly is just countering them and then waiting, countering them and then waiting. Once you figure them out, they're pretty easy to deal with. Uh, one, two, I need to find the third room. The third room would be the Arcana room. The question is, where is it? Oh, God. I hate these. Yeah, okay. Should be here, I think. You can actually teleport off, uh, off the uh, ledges, so you gotta be careful when using this Arcana. It's a set distance, so if you overdo it, Oh, okay. Ooh, evading Zephyr. Mm. I might pick this up. So when I use this, I everything will miss when they try to attack me. As long as I'm moving, right? If I remember correctly. Increased movement speed allows you to run over pits. Summon a current of air that causes all incoming attacks to miss while you are moving or using basic arcana. Now, this helps because I have the Cestus, which uses the basic arcana so you know two and one not bad all right 442 health let's do this first big boss fight flame empress zeal and she gets done here ah okay I can actually just do that, I can just... Okay, accept that. So the, uh, I would say, big bosses, the mega bosses in this uh, game, the, the longer you wait to fight them, basically the tier 3 will be, of course, way harder than the tier 1, which is the one I'm fighting right now. 
So, for example, if you were to fight the Flame Princess at the final tier instead of now, uh, what has happened is instead of her being yeah, it taunting you after three attacks, she'll taunt you after five attacks. And considering how fast she attacks, it's not really fun. It, well, I, I wouldn't use that word. It's more like uh, it's not really enjoyable. It's not an enjoyable experience. This is not that useful. Yeah, but I'll take it, sure. More momentum is never bad. Yeah, okay, let's go. Alright, so rock. Uh, there are elemental weaknesses. Rock is strong against lightning. Uh, neutral against fire, if I remember correctly, but weak against... No. Oh no, I don't remember anymore. <laughs> uh, oh, weak against wind. It's weak against wind. Uh, Arcane has no weaknesses. Uh, and no strength as well. The only person who is resistant to Arcane is the final boss. So, but, you know, it, it, considering that you deal so much damage with Arcane's anyway, you're not really going to be losing out too much. Eh. Oh, oh. Yo. Yeah, yeah. I know you can teleport. You should just die already. Thank you. Ooh, shot. Sure. Okay. Uh, secret wildcard. I forgot what this does. Uh, this one is pretty good. As I reveal the map, I think I get more, more hell, uh, more damage. This one's good because after I take damage, it resists the next one. Yeah, increase armor for short duration after taking damage. That's good because some of the bosses hit multiple times. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. Uh, yeah, there we go. Increase damage based on how much the map you have revealed. Damage increase lasts for the entire trial. Normally, I will be searching for all three rooms. Uh, now, I probably won't search for the Arcana room, but I will search for the Curse rooms and all that. So, I will generally reveal most of the map uh, each time. Alright. Oops. Alright, let's get back to focus. Hey, bird. Go away. Oh, shit. Mm, there we go. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, good, good, good. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. You can only buy one health potion per floor. So, there is an... Uh, I do have a fail safe in case I were to take too much damage. Why is that there? Can I just... You know what? Never mind. Never mind. It's not worth it. Not worth it. Why is that item there? Oh my god. Oh, stop it. The dashing all over the place. I can hit you anywhere I want. I should probably start making use of the R ability. Ooh, so many jump attacks. Uh, I don't need any of these. Let's move on. Alright, let's do this. Grand Summoner. Oh, I hate that guy. Yep, let's just hit everything. Oops. That was a mistake. Even though they're not stunned, they do take damage, so it's not not like you can't hit them while they're, uh, you know, uh, while they have a yellow yellow outline. Yellow outline just means they won't get staggered. There's also a blue outline, which is basically them regenerating. You need to break the blue shield to damage them again. Eh, overestimate the money. Oh my god. Let's just punch. It's fine. It's fine. Let's just punch. So what do I want? Uh, wait, did I? Explore? Did I have all the rooms? Already? <laughs> As you can see, the even the mobs get harder. One, two. Yeah, okay, no, I have not found the third room yet. Whatever it is. This room. Let's see. Uh, no. Uh, no. 
none of these are uh, useful for me. Uh, I think one revives you after you die, but it uh, it lowers your maximum health. And the other one, I think, allows you to dash further, but it lowers your movement speed, which is detrimental because there are a lot of rooms with uh, holes in them, like this. So you don't really want too much dash distance. That what I think. Get wrecked. All right, let's see what you have for me. Ominous loan. Ooh, tortisha. Slows me down. Increases. Defense, I think. I'm gonna take it. I forgot what it uh, Oh, decreases damage. Yeah, I can live with that. That's fine. The damage decrease isn't really that significant, to, to be honest. I mean, it's big, but mind you, it's, it's not like. Uh, it's not insignificant. But it's definitely, on a personal level, not as significant as. Uh, not until it bothers me. Uh, crashing Meteor, and yeah, I'm just gonna ignore you from now on. Alright. Also, the fact is, I have the Cartographer's Quill, so it does offset a lot of the uh, reduced damage that I'm having. Oops. There is a Katana. Uh, called the uh, there's an item called the dark katana and that one's pretty good because it triples the crit chance for basic arcana which is basically your uh, let's call it your auto attacks and uh, if I had that with the cestus I'll be healing every hit but sadly I don't so ah. we've got more than two we've got more than two spells I'm gonna be really sad if I lose this Item shop. We need the item shop before we fight this guy. Uh, I need. I have. I have like 500 gold, so it's kind of pointless to fight the boss right now. Mostly because I want to fight the boss. Uh, after this would be the big bad of the uh, element arena trial, whatever you want to call it. So I need to get to the item shop first to heal. Buy a potion from them. You can't hold on to the signature forever, it kind of dies down after a while. Ah, no, no. This one's for summons, this one's. Just... No. Let's take this. Uh, let's buy this. Let's one damage from water and earth. Mm. Actually, I have no idea why I bought this. I mistook it for something else. Shit. I'm gonna drop it. Uh, the reason why I'm dropping it is evident. The only two elements left are earth and water. So I'm gonna be carrying around something that will 
help me take more damage. No, thank you. Oh, shit. Ah, shoot. Wasted my signature. Okay, he's done. That's fine. Alright. Uh, did we visit? Yes, we did. Let's get out of here. Whew. This is going to be a long one. Alright. Unless I get something really good in the next shot. Alright, let's see how this goes. This guy is also pretty damn rough so we'll see oh shoot Ugh. guys attack really uh, have really beautiful attacks wait till you see the last boss ow ow uh. this game is close to being a bullet hell which is really good uh, but not enough to qualify that is a dash I don't need that so let's move on still have a bit of a sniffling Alright, final element. Let's go. Let's do this. Oh shit, those are mines. I don't want to go near that. Alright, let's see. Shops and then boss. I kind of don't want to waste too much time anymore. Shit. Uh, no. That guy's a gambler. He'll take one of your... I think he'll take one of your one of your cards at random or something. And then he'll just shuffle it into his deck and then you get to pick something new, sort of. Or you can end up with the same thing. That uh, doesn't really help me. are getting tankier and tankier. Uh, oops, that was a mistake. Oops, super. There we go. Come on. Good. Alright. Where do we go? Uh, right. I'm feeling lucky. Oh, shoot. Oh. These chests, uh, there's something really interesting about these chests and uh, their interaction. So, these chests, if it says three win and one fire, you have to have three win spells, all different, and one fire spell to unlock. The beauty of using arcane is that each arcane spell you have uh, basically allows you to unlock one slot. So I've unlocked one just now, so now I can unlock this one, so I have to use my laser. But the unfortunate thing is I don't have fire, so it's not going to help anyway. <laughs> If I had one more arcane, I have an arcane, but this doesn't do damage, so it won't it won't uh, unlock it. That's the unfortunate thing. And still, 
it's a nice thing to have. If I had three arcanes, that would be an easy unlock. Uh, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. We find the item shop first. I'm kind of worried that I'll take extra damage uh, along the way. I don't want that, that's for sure. Nope. Let's try that again. Go this way. Oh, damn. Ow! I deserve that. What the? Bullshit. Uh, mages. There we go. Screw your, screw your shit. Yep, this is what I was worried about. Haven't had a lot of good items in the shop. Ah, oh, thank you. Analytical monocle. Gives me extra crit chance. Uh, I forgot what this does. Oh, something about signatures, I think. Uh, reinforced braces. I'm gonna buy this. Actually, I probably should have waited. Come to think of it. So, since the gambler is the other shop, that means the last one is the arcana. I don't need that. So, we're just gonna do the boss. If we don't take a lot of damage, then great red summoner. Yes, you regen while I kill your minions. And laser. And drop. Oh, I'm critting so much right now. This is amazing. I'm so glad I got the other. Oh, I'm so glad I got this. On top of the cloak. Oh, it's so good. Right, okay, so I have full health. I will pick this up. Uh, projectiles destroy any other projectiles destroy. Yep, that's good. Uh, I'm gonna buy this as well. Something about signatures. Signature has charge. Uh, that's alright. That's alright. Though I normally use the uh, signatures immediately. So I'm spending all the gold mostly because we're reaching the end. Once I clear this floor, the. Uh, Boss, I yeah, clear this floor. Once I clear this floor, I'll not be able to purchase anything anymore. So, you know, the odd thing is, I suck at explaining things live. No, I think I'm more like I suck at explaining things full stop. Uh, I'm more of a show rather than tell kind of person, if that makes sense. Uh, I don't know, show and tell, maybe. up already, jeez. Boom. I'll deal with you. Thank you. So the reason why I got the reinforced braces is because my melee attacks have projectiles in them, so it's good. Ooh. Um, this one increases defense for every item that I have car I'm carrying right now. This one increases my charge rate, I think. So I do we. Hmm, well, we'll think about it. See how much money we get at the end. Damn it. Fuck. Fire, so I'm not sure how, that's, how I'm gonna open that. Eh, we can't open this. Yeah, we can. We can't open this. It's fine. Uh, normally they have Arcana in there, but uh, we don't really need any new Arcanas. What we have right now is sufficient. Hopefully, we'll see. These guys are rough, mostly because we have reached, they are at the third level. So, normally they're not that difficult, but you know, that's how it goes. 
laser. Yeah, you can stun lock me. I can stun lock you as well. Fair is fair. Oh my god, really? Armor of greed, golden armor of envy, sharpen stylus. Can't charge her account or something. Uh, oh dang. Right, so I have 230 gold. So we're gonna find the boss room. We're going to kill the boss. We're gonna buy one item or clear out whatever gold we have. And then we're going to pick up the armor. I think the armor of greed. And V1 is something else I don't remember exactly what it was, but uh, it's something. There we go. Uh, I would love to have the dark katana as well. Ouch. It's going to be interesting to see if I can actually beat her. Do you have anything def- Ooh. I might trade out my E for this. Because this is pretty useful. Damn it, it's 175 though. Right, tell you what, we finish, we finish this floor. See how much gold we have and then we'll start doing some math. Some rad math. Is the boss? It's probably this way. Oh no, no, it's not this way. Uh, we could skip everything, but no. Why not take the chance at extra damage? Taking extra damage, that is. Okay, thank you for dying. Okay, that was kind of worth it. Uh, boss, uh, if you're not here, then you're up north. Okay, let's go. Dash this way, dash this way, dash this way. Oh, come on. Stop it. Jeez. Okay, boss time, let's go. What is it we're fighting? Fresh Knight. Okay, that's a bit hard. Ads first. We're good, we're good, we're good. And two. One. Shit. That shit. Just die already. Ugh. It's got more damage than I wanted. Right, so at least I don't have to spend money on the uh, potion. Because the next floor he will, I think, another 45. Uh, I'm going to buy this. More defense. Since we already have like a ton of defensive stuff. Do I really need the dragons? Uh, no, not really. It's really nothing I can use against... Well, uh, that's not true either. Though. Dragons are damage. Eesh. Alright. Alright, I'm taking this. Switching these two out. In carry one in reserve. Uh, it's not the double dragon that I want, but you know, this will work. Uh, Alright, and now the armor of greed. There we go. Significant boost in armor, lose gold every time you hit. Doesn't matter. You're at the end already. And that's strategy. Alright. Second last boss. Ah, she's going to hurt. I'm just saying, she is going to hurt. I took the dragon also because it does multiple, uh, multiple hits. Oh! God. Starting with that, huh? Oh. I'm probably going to be quiet this whole time, so just let you know. Oh, shit.
as you can tell, fighting the final boss is not easy. They recover a lot faster than their lower level counterparts and have attacks that you don't normally see. Like that one. Oh, shit. Damn it. Oh, got it. Oof. All right. Now for the final boss. Uh, uh, take this. Switch this with this. Switch this out. Uh, doing this because of the, again, multi-hit thing. Alright, here we go. Uh, having a lot of dashes against the last boss, at least, you know, how I play it, is pretty useful. Alright, enjoy this. But no wizard has ever managed to best me. I beat you seven times. Just, just saying. Now let's begin the final challenge. This guy is pretty amazing, so... Mm, he has two phases. And here we go. Seems I've underestimated you. Let's begin true duel. Yep, and he starts fighting like you. And he's a lot faster. Oh god. Shit. His recovery time is also a lot faster than yours. hitting him so I can get my, my combo out. Oh god. Get it. It should be noted that I have once gotten comboed from 500 to 0. I, I even had defensive equipment, so fighting him is always rough. Without doubt, you are worthy of becoming a wizard of legend. But enough talk, we must celebrate tomorrow's occasion. Yay, okay, we're done. Oh. 
All right, so, Wizard of Legend. I am now the Wizard of Legend. He finally get his final arcana. I'll probably just show it off. It's a, you know, it's a summon. You can actually play a summon build if you want, but you know, I have yet to make any of them work. Take it as testament of your skill. Yay. I have eight of them now. Take this arcana. Phantom Brigade, yeah. Inter interaction with the senior from your time to link to auto was a prepare special teleportation. Blah 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 blah. Basically, I'm in the future and these people are in the past. And one thing I will say, the animations are Bundi Kim and Dahoodli. Talent Moon Artists. These guys are good. These guys are good. This game is short actually. Uh, as I don't know if you can tell, but the game is pretty short, but uh, still fun. So I probably just uh, run through this area, uh, give you a quick tour of uh, end game. This is the amount of time you spent. This is the equipment that you used, all the stuff that you used, the arcanas. Uh, these are the people that you interact with. I normally only have these three because the rest are not that great. Um, uh, these are the special, the additional arcanas that you used. You can talk to these people for extra information. Uh, collection of relics found by a wizard of legend. So you become the wizard of legend, basically. And then you come over here and you are... You end the game. Just like that. So, before we finish the video, of course, I would leave anyone hanging. Nah, just kidding. I'm gonna end the video now. Bye! Hi. You're still here. Okay, good. Let's try out the Phantom Brigade. Uh, so it's a summon. Summon of Leisure of Knights that rush forth and attack enemies. Okay. What the shit? Isn't that freaking Omni Slash? What the hell? <laughs> Isn't that Omni Slash? What? I mean, uh, I guess it's. I guess it's Omni Slash. Uh, it kind of works as Omni Slash. Alright, let's try it in the signature Arcana slot. The spell is pretty good. The unfortunate thing is I got it last, so there is actually no reason for me to ever use this thing. Okay, the base version does have something different. Let's see the upgraded version. Oh, elemental! Oh, this would be crazy against a single target. What? Yeah, that's insane against a single target. A couple of fatty can still help out. Interesting. And does it work? The crits? Oh yeah, yeah. So my my cloak affects them as well. So they're critting. Interesting. Too bad I'm never going to use it because the game is done. I have every single arcana in the game now. Ah, overall, good game. All right, that's all for now. Oh well, I say for now, but more like uh, that's all forever on this game. Until next time. And until the next game, probably Rain will. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.